in advance. So there was an initial hold, which was allowed for between two and three seconds, which, in Milani's defense, is what she agreed to in the initial marriage contract. He tried to get longer, so she snatched away fairly violently. And then you have this attempt where he reaches out and he puts his hand close, and then like he sort of touches her. He tries a little half turn. She's not having it. And does this mean anything? Does this matter? No, but screw him. The most recent US politician to be embroiled in a, a scandal about their stock activity when we found out just yesterday that his wife bought stock in Gilead Sciences, which makes the antiviral drug known as remdesivir, which makes, uh, yeah, it's used to treat COVID-19. I'm sure that you've heard about it. She bought back on February 26, 2020, before the threat from the coronavirus was fully understood by the public and before it was classified as a pandemic by the World Health Organization. Group text messages sent by Heidi Cruz, Ted Cruz's wife, show that the family's controversial Cancun getaway was a last minute decision, one that came after she invited other friends in what was an attempt on her part to flee their freezing home. The chats were leaked to the New York Times and included in a Thursday evening story revealed that the senator's spouse made the pitch for coming along with her family, noting that the hotel where she'd be staying has plenty of rooms. Well, it's a pandemic. Uh, and that families can get a COVID test before they return. She wrote, anyone can or want to leave for the week? We may go to Cancun. The center's wife also pitched a direct flight and hotels with capacity seriously. And then they talked about the security and the cost and all that. So this is the nice thing. You need to understand that Ted Cruz, as we've seen demonstrated for years, will throw his wife under the bus, will not defend her when she's attacked. He doesn't give a damn about her. But in this case, even though this was apparently all her idea, he did the very nice thing of throwing his kids under the bus for a change instead. Because apparently it wasn't their idea at all. It was his wife and he spent two days lying to the national press saying his kids are to blame for the terrible decisions that he's made. Milani apparently learned new details from the media coverage according to Mary Jordan. Now she apparently needed time to cool off and also to amend her financial arrangement with Trump, what Melania referred to as taking care of Barron. So she apparently <laughs> um, wanted and felt she had the leverage now to renegotiate her prenuptial agreement with Donald Trump, um, which mm. is true. She did have that leverage. He can't afford to have his wife divorce him conceivably in his first year as president. That would be embarrassing. And we know Donald Trump would never do anything embarrassing. But anyway, uh, Anna, what do you think about this? About that she like, initially refused to move with him until he gave her a better financial setup. Um, I have four words for you. Art of the deal. <laughs> yes. So, no, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, let's just get the caveats out of the way. Melania's trash. I have no respect for her. She's a terrible person. Okay, now that that's yes. out of the way. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. That is some cut throat negotiating. I'm proud of her in this regard. Like, uh, honestly, I, I don't think my brain operates that way. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Which is why this update or this uh, development never even crossed my mind. And I have no doubt that if I were in her position, um, first of all, I would never be in her position. Like I would never marry anyone for money. Um, I just think that I'm, I'm really bad at faking things. I can't I can't fake it. She has orgasm. to fake like, things uh, on a monthly basis. Yeah. <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> um, so I couldn't do it. But honestly, like I, I, I love that she saw this opportunity. She understands uh, the importance of cutthroat negotiating, and she did it. I mean, and you know, I also like the fact that um, everything, everything was up for negotiation. Like, oh, you want to hold my hand in public, bitch? That's what you want. That's an extra hundred mil. Oh, sorry. 